Hi guys, it's Fabian. So, I just got back from vacationing in Florida. I was there all of last week. Me and my friend stayed at the Walt Disney World uh, Resort. And then we went to all the parks like throughout the week. But the most memorable part of my vacation was going to Wizarding World. I have been obsessed with Harry Potter since the very first film came out. That was like when I was like six years old. So I've like dreamed of going to like all the places you know, in the film and the books, and I finally got to do it. And I honestly got to say that I loved Wizarding World more than Walt Disney World. Um, yeah, it was like 10 times better. Everything there was just so freaking amazing. When you walk into Diagon Alley, it's like you're really there. It's, it's, I can't even explain it. Like, you have to see it for yourself, especially if you love the books and the films you really feel like you're stepping into the wizarding world. You can tell that the people that work there love Harry Potter. So it makes the experience of visiting those uh, parks 10 times better. So um, I'm making this video because I thought maybe I should just show you guys um, like my haul, <laughs> show you everything I bought at Wizarding World. I honestly did not buy a single thing at Walt Disney World. Everything I bought was from Wizarding World. The moment I got there, I was like, take my money, please. Everything there, like the merchandise, is just so beautiful. I had to buy so much stuff. I spent like, I want to say at least $200 of just merch there at the park. So I'll go ahead and show you guys what I bought. So first things first, when I got there, I told myself I wasn't going to spend money on a wand because I already have two at home. And I was like, okay, that's kind of pointless. I'm not going to drop like 50, $60 on a wand. But the moment I got there, you like, I walked into Diagon Alley and it's literally like the scene in Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone when Harry steps into Diagon Alley for the first time and he sees all the witches and wizards and like their cloaks and stuff. I was like, damn it, I need a wand. <laughs> so um, right after we got on Green Gods, we went straight to Ollivander's and um, me and my friend Tony, we both got wands. This is my Ollivander's wand. The bag is so freaking cute. Like it looks like some little like high fashion, I don't know, like couture, like wizarding couture bag. And I ended up getting a uh, Sears Black Swan. So inside um, comes this map and I, I got the interactive one. There's like places around the park at Universal Studio inside Wizarding World where I can use my wand to actually like cast spells. So this here is my wand. It just looks like a normal Sears Black Swan. You can tell it's one of the interactive wands by looking at the top because there's this like little tip up here. It's not flat like any other wand, um, but yeah. So this is it, this is my serious black wand. I walked around all day with this in my hand. So once I got over to Hogsmeade, I had to buy um, this uh, headboy pin. So I got this Gryffindor headboy pin. Um, I wore it for the rest of the day. It just looks so perfect with like what I was wearing that day with my outfit. And I just wore it on my wool like sweater and it looked Awesome. Yeah, this is what I got. While I was in uh, Hogsmeade, I also had to try Butterbeer. When I got my Butterbeer, I ended up coming in this little mug. It says Butterbeer on it, and yeah, it was it was just perfect. I loved it. I also bought like this uh, little chocolate frog um, keychain. It's perfect because it actually smells like chocolate. I also got this chocolate frog pin, and it's the same thing. Like it opens up and the frog inside smells like milk chocolate. It's, I, I just fell in love with these. I had to buy them both, like they're pretty expensive, but I was like, fuck it. <laughs> so apart from getting those uh, fake chocolate frogs, I also got two real ones. So yeah, here they are. They're pretty big. I think they're bigger than they are like in the movies. And this is the chocolate frog. He's enormous. The best part about this is the training card inside. I got Albus Dumbledore, the back says like, like a little bio about him. Yeah, he died in uh, 1996, RIP. But yeah, so there's my chocolate frog. And then no trip to Honey Dukes is complete without my Bertie Bots Every Flavored Beans. I used to buy Bertie Bots all the time when I was a little kid. My mom would always buy them for me and I would always eat them even though they were disgusting. But um, I just love the idea of the Bertie Bots and having vomit flavored beans and all these crazy flavors. Um, so yeah, so I ended up buying these. So when I was in Hogsmeade, I went to Dervish and Bangs, and I ran into this little thing. <laughs> it's the Triwizard Cup. 
Apart from it just looking cool, it also lights up. Now it comes down to the very last thing I bought at Wizarding World. I ended up buying this awesome mug as well. It's beautiful, it has my um, Hogwarts uh, house crest on it. It was actually like reasonably priced, it was only like $24. So yeah, that's all the stuff I bought. Um, I hope you found this entertaining. If not, I don't care. But yeah, I had an awesome time at Universal Studios and I guess Walt Disney World. It was pretty cool too. Yeah, I'll see you guys later. Maybe I'll make some more videos. Bye.